Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifix where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Gene therapy is showing real promise for people with congenital deafness thanks to a new international study involving Sweden's Karolinska Institute. Researchers treated 10 patients aged 1 to 24 in five different hospitals who had severe hearing loss caused by mutations in the OTOF gene. This gene affects a protein called otoferlin, which is needed to send sound signals from the ear to the brain. Using a harmless virus, they injected a healthy copy of the gene directly into the inner ear. The results were remarkable. Most patients regained some hearing within a month and all showed significant improvement after six months. The best responses came from children aged between five to eight. One seven-year-old even began holding conversations within four months. The treatment was also deemed to be safe with no serious side effects reported in the first 12 months. Researchers are now looking to expand this approach to treat other genetic causes of deafness using the same gene therapy method. Next up, we have a new study which has revealed that the worst extinction event on Earth 252 million years ago led to the collapse of tropical forests whose effects were felt for millions of years after. During the Permian-Triassic Great Dying Event, there was a lot of global warming which was caused by volcanic activity in Siberia. This global warming was seen as the main reason why most of the living beings died off. But scientists were confused about why Earth's temperatures remained so high even millions of years after the volcanic eruptions. Now, researchers from the University of Leeds and China University of Geosciences suggests that the destruction of tropical forests due to the extinction event drastically slowed down carbon sequestration, which is the process by which plants trap carbon dioxide. Without forests, carbon dioxide built up and stayed in the atmosphere, keeping the planet very hot. They studied ancient fossils and rocks to reconstruct changes in plant life and climate millions of years ago. Their data matched simulations showing how forest loss could explain the prolonged warming. The findings serve as a stark warning. If today's tropical forests collapse due to climate change, we might trigger a similar long-term climate crisis. Next, in a new breakthrough, scientists have sequenced the first complete human genome from ancient Egypt using DNA extracted from a 4500 to 4800 year old skeleton. The man lived during the era of the first pyramids and was buried in a hillside tomb in southern Egypt. Genetic analysis shows that his ancestry was about 80% North African and 20% West Asian, which showed the first ever DNA-based evidence of human movement between Egypt and Mesopotamia. His remains revealed signs of hard physical labor, possibly as a potter, but his elaborate burial suggests a higher social status. Extracting ancient DNA from Egypt has long been a challenge because of heat-related degradation of the samples, but new techniques have made this feat possible. This individual's genome opens up a new window into Egypt's early history and human migration. Researchers hope that future collaborations with Egyptian institutions will help expand the understanding of ancestry and movement in the ancient Egypt world. Finally, astronomers have spotted a rare celestial visitor, 31 Atlas, the third confirmed object from outside our solar system. Discovered on July 1st by a telescope in Chile that's part of NASA's Atlas project, this object is moving at a record 68 km per second, which is faster than any interstellar body seen before. Its open, hyperbolic path confirms that its origins are beyond our Sun's gravitational grip. Currently, it's just inside Jupiter's orbit and it will pass through the inner solar system in October, which provides us a brief but exciting window for study. The signs of a tail visible in its pictures suggest that it's behaving like a comet, venting gas and dust as it heats up. Astronomers around the world are gearing up to observe it across different wavelengths to learn about its composition, its shape and its origin. Findings could offer insights into planetary formation in other star systems. With advanced telescopes, 
like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, more such interstellar visitors may soon follow. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into the print.